Cuckoo by Sophie Draper Prologue I am floating between two worlds, the living and the dead. As I lie here in my hospital bed, the faces shimmer above, voices distant and unfamiliar. Slowly I return. I cannot move. I am a doll placed exactly as they choose. They're quite unaware that I'm awake, that I can see and hear. The machines, the trolleys on their wheels, the tubes wriggling from body to bed, the clicks and beeps that mark each breath, each beat a ticking clock. Each sigh discharged as if my last. Today I can see the table. Someone places a small painting beside me. It shows a boy. He sits on a grave under a tree, ivy coiled around his feet. He holds a pear drum. I know this object. Not a drum, but something else. The shape appalls me. A large pear-shaped box, too big for the boy's lap. The strings that stretch across, the handle at one end, the strange creatures painted on the side. An instrument. It plays the devil's music. My heart jolts, leaping against my ribs, hammering like a condemned man. The machines fill my lungs with air. I feel my chest expand, stretching until it is so taut I think my body will burst. But no, the machines deflate. Once more I hear their steady beat. I watch the drip, drip of the feed that punctures my arm and my consciousness fades away. When I wake, I hear hushed tones, regret. They're talking about me. My mind is surging, willing myself to move, to make one small sign that I'm alive but the feeling dissipates like smoke in a chimney. I watch the boy. He winds the handle on the pear drum, round and around. The hours turn into days, then weeks, time sliding between each heartbeat. Slowly, memory returns. When I see the sky, it's white, or grey, reflections of the room bouncing off the window glass, and black. Sometimes against the grey is the tiniest streak of black, one small bird buffeted by an invisible wind. As I lie in this bed, they all think I am as good as dead, except I am not dead, not yet. How? Disappointed they must be.